Number 15. Indicate which substance in the given pairs has the higher entropy value and then explain your choices. So in this set, we have C2H5OH and C2H5OH. So we have the same compound, but one is a liquid and the other one is a gas. Well, this will be kind of easy because anytime that you have different states, always look for that first. Don't even bother looking at the compound. In this case, the compound is the same, so we can't go by that anyway. Now, if we have different states, the reasoning is down here. Remember that entropy, another word for entropy is like randomness, right? Randomness or disorder or chaos of molecules. As you're going from a solid to a liquid to a gas, you increase in your randomness, right? Keep in mind that your solids are always jumbled, you know, packed together. So they, you know, rarely do they move a lot. But as you go from a solid to a liquid, the molecules get more spaced out. And for a gas, they're all spaced out, right? So there's more collisions or more, you know, uh, randomness of these molecules bopping all over the place than, you know, a solid lattice like, you know, in a solid. So since I have liquid and a gas, the higher entropy is always the gas one. So in this case, it would be C2, H5, OH gas. Explain your reasoning. The reasoning is that all gas molecules will always have higher entropy than liquids. So gas will always have more entropy than a liquid. So maybe I'll just put, you know, great gas is always higher than a liquid. You could, you know, write it down. I'm just not going to waste my time here because the video would just be longer. But yeah, gases always have higher en en uh, entropy than liquids. And that's it. Hopefully this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel and I will be talking to you in future lessons. Okay, bye-bye.